Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here again. Sorry if I'm looking a little pale. I'm not sure what's going on with my lighting. Um, it's very like dim outside and dreary. You know, it's winter and yesterday was 70 degrees. The day before that, which was graduation, was 30 degrees. And today it looks like it's back to like the 30s. Like it, it, we have snow sky. You know how the sky looks when it's gonna snow or when it's snowing? That's what it looks like outside. It's kind of scary because yesterday was so nice, even though it was raining. But anyways, ignore the color issues that are going on with the video. This is going to be my top 10 makeup face products. And I have them in order from 1 to 10. So the first thing I want to talk about, which I am wearing as my foundation today. Of course, I just dropped it. Is <laughs> from the CoverGirl Queen Collection. And it's their CC Cream. This is amazing. Do you see how much coverage I'm getting? How flawless this finish is. How it looks like it's my skin and it doesn't transfer when you set it with a powder. It just looks so, so, so good. I think this may be the only thing that I take with me to Portland. And you guys know I usually travel with two to four foundations always. But I think I might just take this CC cream because it looks so good and the color just matches my skin so well and I love it I have the shade Q640 sheer espresso which is the deepest one so definitely give this a try um, I believe it's ten dollars covergirl queen collection CC cream their cover and care cream it's a lightweight formula that even skin tone for a smooth natural look and hydrates skin leaving it moisturized it's oil free does not clog pores and is suitable for sensitive skin and it does all of those things and it's just beautiful that's my number one product that you should go get moving on to product number two this is the black radiance true complexion contour palette this is approximately eight dollars i believe 7.99 i have it in the shade medium to dark it comes with a contour shade, a sculpting shade, and a highlight shade. And I use the highlight today. That's actually the highlight that I'm wearing. And I applied it quite subtly because I'm going for a more natural look. But it's on my cheekbones and the brow area down the bridge of my nose and on the cupid's bow. Love this palette. The contour shade is great. The highlighting shade is great. And the sculpting shade, sometimes I use that as like a highlight under my eyes. So... I love this. It is amazing. Definitely go out and try this contour palette. Product number three is from Milani. And this is their Prime Shield Face Primer for mattifying and pore minimizing and it's oil free. I love this primer. It's $9.99 so it's $10. It's supposed to prime the skin to create a smooth canvas before applying any foundation. It mattifies and perfects the skin Instantly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines. It's lightweight, non-greasy, and does not clog pores. I'm wearing this primer today, and I love this primer. It works with every single foundation that I have. And I feel like this is a good um, dupe kind of for the Cover FX one that has the acne treatment, except this doesn't treat acne, but it is just so, it works so good. Like, you see how smooth my foundation looks. And just, like, how good it looks. Like, this CC cream and this primer... This is my all-time favorite Holy Girl primer. I'm almost out of it. I need to get more. And I don't normally wear primer, but something just told me to try this out for the past few weeks. And um, I've been loving it. Tried out the Milani Prime Shield. And this is the mattifying and pore minimizing one. And that's product number three. Moving on to product number four, which is we're getting a little bit more high-end. This is from Clinique. This is the Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. I have the shade 29 Sienna. This is my perfect skin tone match. And this foundation lasts so long and it works so well. This is my new Holy Grail foundation. This is my favorite. And See Key Beauty, this is her Holy Grail foundation. Like it looks so good. I love this foundation. I'm actually like out of it. There's barely any in here. I'm like, I have to like really squeeze it out and I need to get another one. This is um, $25 or $27, I believe. So it's not super duper expensive and it's amazing. It's allergy tested, 100% fragrance free. 
sheer to moderate coverage, natural matte finish, oil controlling makeup, absorb shine, wears beautifully all day, lightweight, oil free, and that is true. Except for the sheer to moderate coverage, I actually think this is a medium to full coverage foundation. And you guys know that I have scarring and stuff on my face and my skin is not perfect. I get this much coverage when I put it on like full coverage, like you don't see not a flaw in my skin. I get the same effect with this foundation from Clinique. Definitely go try this out and buy it. This is my number one favorite foundation. I'm just out of it, so I'm having to use other things. So CC Cream is my number, that's my number one favorite CC Cream. This is my number one favorite foundation at the moment. Love it, go try it. Moving on to product number five. I don't have on clothes yet. I'm moving and I packed up and gave all my clothes to my parents that's at their house because I'm moving. And so um, I have a very limited amount of clothes and I'm kind of using this kimono as a bathroom for now, but just, just so you know. I'm um, moving on. This is product number five. This is the Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And this is a finishing powder. I use it to set my face all over. I used a little bit of it today. As you can see, I've hit pan and I need to get more. Like, look, this is pitiful. This actually aggravates me and it gives me a little bit of anxiety when I'm rushing to get ready in the morning and I need to set my face because I'm an oily girl and I have to scrape the edges. Obviously, I love this because I've hit pan on it. I have purchased this probably four to five to six times. This is probably my, like my fourth one that I've finished all the way like this. And I'm probably going to be throwing this away because it is so hard to get, you know, around the edge of that. Like, it ain't nobody got time. Like I said, it gives me anxiety love this powder it's beautiful it never gets cakey it just sets your face so beautifully it gives you such an even flawless soft focus finish just airbrush face tune flawless perfection when you set your face with this powder um it's a multi-use formula lightweight silky texture softens the appearance of fine lines enhances natural skin tones 100 percent oil free matte formulation sheer to light color payoff even skin tone it does all of that it's amazing. They, it comes in three shades, a lighter shade, a medium shade, which I actually have because I can normally use that in the winter, but I don't think I'm ever going to go to my winter color again after this band camp. I got really, really dark. Or lipstick on my teeth um, at band camp. And I actually love, I like this skin tone I am now. Um, but anyways, so the, the creamy bronze finish is the middle color. I don't think I'll ever be able to use it again, honestly. So this is the milk chocolate finish. This is the darkest shade. And I have a little bit of this on today, but I could scrape out. And yeah, go try this. And you see how big the pan is? Like it's a, like compared to my face, it's a nice big pan. It's just amazing powder. Go try it. This is product number five. Moving on to product number six. This is the most expensive out of all the products, but this is another foundation that I have been absolutely loving. And I wore it on my graduation day. Um, and I wore it to several photo shoots and stuff. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I have the deepest shade 12.0. And this also is actually a perfect color match for me. It really like makes my skin look very rich and like healthy. I love, love, love this foundation. It is $40, like I said. It's a splurge. But um, this is probably also going to be one of my holy grail foundations that I will repurchase once it runs out and the cool thing about it, is it has an airless pump so you can see that this will gradually move up when the foundation ends and you'll know that it's completely empty because you won't be able to pump out anymore because it gradually moves all the way up um this um foundation is waterproof long wear liquid foundation full coverage matte finish oil free and it really is love 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 this um, it's it's amazing if you need like really really full coverage like if you have really bad scarring if you've been burned or you know you have a huge birthmark I have a large birthmark right here on my forehead um, if you have lots to cover but you want it to look really just nice on your skin like not cakey this is a great foundation you only really need I use two pumps one pump for one half of my face one pump for the other half of my face two pumps if you have less stuff to cover than I do, then you can probably get away with one pump of this. And it's amazing. It covers so well. Love, love, love this. It's awesome. Moving on to product number one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was product number six. Moving on to product number seven. This is another face powder. And this is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Face Powder. I have the shade 800 Cocoa. Sometimes I can use 700 Classic Tan. When I'm at my lightest, um, I love this powder. It is 
beautiful. It keeps you matte and it doesn't get cakey. Just like the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder, like no, ma no matter how much I apply, it doesn't get cakey. And also this has a more red undertone to it. So if I have a foundation that's a little too yellow or just a little bit too light, I put this powder over it and it like just brings it to my skin tone. Um, the only thing I don't like is that this is the darkest shade of this one. And I can't always use it because of the red undertone that it has. So it's more of like a correcting powder for me, but I do love it and I love the way that, that it looks. One thing I don't like about this is the price point though. This is like $11.99 or $12.99 which I feel like is expensive for how small this pan is compared to this $5.99 or $6.99 one from Black Radiance. Obviously you get like twice as much in this one. So I just don't really like the price point of this, but it is a great powder if you're willing to spend a little bit more money at the drugstore for it. Um, it's a matte finish, 16 hour wear, air fine texture. And that is so true, it does have a air fine texture love 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 it again that's the shade 800 cocoa this is the darkest shade moving on to product number eight this is another face powder that i used to set all over my face and this is from maybelline this is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless this powder works amazingly with clinique foundations i have another clinique foundation that i love but it didn't make the top 10 but it is going to be another holy grail of mine um and you guys have seen me use it well, you will see me use it when I upload all these videos I pre-recorded. This foundation, this powder works really great with Clinique foundations. And I love the color of this powder. I have the deepest shade. This is 360 Mocha. Because it has like a neutral undertone to it, like as you can see, it's not warm and it's not really cool. It's neutral. It's not red and it's not extremely yellow. So this can set any of my foundations. The only thing is that it's a little bit too deep for me now. But I use it anyway because I don't mind my face being a little dark compared to the rest of my body. Love this. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 360 Cocoa. This is for normal to oily skin. Natural poreless looking finish up to 12 hour wear. Long lasting shine control. Love it. All of that is true and it just looks so beautiful on my skin. Love this powder. And this one's only like $5.99 so... It's the same as the Black Radiance in that same price range, $5.99, $6.99, very affordable. Keep your lipstick on my teeth. On to product number nine, which is another face powder. Ooh. Close this up. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. I love this powder. I have shades C6, C7, C8, and N8. And the reason I would recommend this one over the other ones is because it comes in different undertones and then several, several shades for each undertone. So if you're looking for um, something that can also kind of double up as a powder foundation, because this has like medium to full coverage, like you can build this up. Um, and that will also control your oil. This is a great powder. And the only reason I haven't been using it is because I'm basically out of all of mine and I have to scrape around the edges. This is shade C6, which I obviously would use when I'm a little bit lighter. But um, with all the powders I'm mentioning, you can get two different colors and use one under your under eyes to highlight and use one for your face and get a deeper one to contour because all of these powders are super amazing. This is the only one that gets a little bit cakey though if you apply too much because like I said, this can be medium to full coverage. Like this could be a powder foundation alone. So you do have to be a little bit careful with how much you apply, but I really like this for the summer because it because it is a little bit heavier, like it really locks in your makeup and makes sure that it does not slip and slide off your face when it's really hot. I live in South Carolina and it's humid and you've been sweating. It really stays and lasts on your face through the elements. So I like this one more for summer, but I did put a little bit of that on today as well because like I said, I'm running out of all my face powders because I use face powder the most. Because not only do I use it to set my face like before I go, I also use it for touch-ups during the day. Usually I don't have to touch up to be completely honest. The way I pack all my powders, you guys see me like press it all over my skin. I usually don't have to touch up and if I do have to touch up, it's usually only usually only once so this is a great powder it comes in lots of shades so i highly recommend this one and i think it's like 8.99 to 10.99 so the price has gone up on this it used to be cheaper but 
Um, this is also a great one, especially if you're looking for something with a little bit heavier coverage or if you're the kind of person that only wants to wear powder foundation. Highly recommend this. And the liquid foundation is also great too. That goes with this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Moving on to product number 10. Product number 10 is something that I really like to use in the summer because it's kind of like the L'Oreal Tree Match where it locks your makeup in place and that is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage. This stuff is amazing for locking your foundation into place. It will not go anywhere. You will not get greasy. You will not get oily. This is amazing for that and it's also amazing for making your under eyes very flawless but you have to be careful if you have dry under eyes like me because it can kind of make it look um crepey and um not creasy but like crepe like crepey almost like tissue paper i have a piece right here like in those fine lines if you have dry under eyes your under eyes will look a little bit like this so you have to make sure that you really moisturize your under eyes. I didn't use it today, but whenever I feel like my pores are showing or my it's my foundation isn't as flawless as it could be or my under eyes aren't as matte and smooth and poreless as they could be, I'll use a tiny bit of this on my beauty blender and just press it into those areas. Or if I have a foundation I know needs a little bit extra oil controlling help, like a foundation I don't really like, but I'm just trying to use it up because your girl ain't about wasting that money. I'll apply this um, with my beauty blender and really press it into the skin lightly. Also, if you use too much, it can cause flashback and can make you look ghostly because if you can see the shade through here, it is like a light peachy color. It's very fair. It's also very messy to use, as you can see. Hopefully you can see that. That's what it looks like. So you have to be very careful. It's very messy, but it works great. And that's product number 10. This retails for $5.99 and $6.99 at your drugstores. This really does work. Like, give it a try if you have issues with pores or you just want a more smooth finish. Or if you're super oily, try setting your primer with this and putting your foundation over it. That's another trick if you're really oily. And I have one honorable mention foundation. And this is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. You've heard so many people on the YouTube talk about this, rave about this. This is my perfect skin tone match as well. I have the shade 360 Cocoa. Love it, love it, love it. I'm not wearing it today, but I do love this. And the only reason it didn't make the top 10 is because I honestly like that CoverGirl CC cream more than I like this. Even though this is awesome and it stays matte all day, especially using the Milani Prime Shield. I wore this to a party and like I didn't get shiny at all. Like it looked matte and perfect all throughout that party we were dancing and drinking and having a good old time too so yes this is an honorable mention and this foundation is $5.99 I think it is the least expensive of all the foundations I did talk about in this video so if you're on a budget but you want something that is amazing and comparable to higher end foundations definitely run and go get you the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless and that's what the cap actually looks like I don't know why mine is backwards but that's what the back looks like and this is for normal to oily skin and it's just like a long wear liquid foundation, great coverage, beautiful finish, just awesome. So this is my honorable mention product. That concludes my top 10 makeup face products. Those are my top 10 face products of the year that I have used. I talked about some things, most of these I can use all year round. And then I told you about the ones that are like especially great for summer. When summer comes and spring comes and starts to get hot again, those powders I talked about, go get, go get those if you're oily because they work so good also the cc cream that i'm wearing stays on even in the, in the summer if you saw my band camp makeup tutorials that's what i wore every day to band camp is this cc cream and it didn't go nowhere i was looking flawless and cute at band camp 60 hours a week outside in july late july and early august the hottest time of the year and my face stayed beat like this the CC cream, I'm telling you, run and go try it. CoverGirl Queen Collection, please do. But let me not rant anymore about these products. These are my top 10 face, this is going to be my top 10 face products of 2016. I got this idea for um, this idea for these videos from Emily Noel 83 Love her. I believe she lives in Tennessee and she's pregnant with her second child, her second daughter. She already has one little daughter. Um, so, yes.
shout outs to her for giving me this idea for the top 10. Top five is a little hard for me because I love so many different things. But anyways, let me stop ranting. Again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and all the kind comments and congratulations for me completing college. It was a struggle. You know, your girl was there for five and a half years trying to get her bachelor's degree. I have earned 169 college credits. You know, that's ridiculous because the degree is usually only 120. Mine is 138. Anyways, thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate the comments and I will be re responding to you guys soon i'm not gonna make any promises to how soon but soon i i do see them i do read them and they are binging on my phone and i really do appreciate you guys i'm so thankful so blessed and um just thank you guys for your support let me know what other videos you want to see what other tutorials you want to see let me know try these products out go get them most of them are you know affordable so hope you guys enjoyed this video i need to go get dressed Oh yes, I need to go. I'm supposed to be at my university at 11, but I want to get Starbucks before I headed over to where I need to be. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Again, I really do appreciate you. I'm so thankful for all of you and I hope that you have a wonderful week. See you in the next video. Happy holidays. Bye.